Hey friends, it's Ashley and today I'm here to share a flip through of my December daily album. These are my foundation pages um, and I'm just ready for my photos to go in in December. Um, so I wanted to show you what I created and I'm doing a traveler's notebook format. This is by no means a typical December daily what you think of when you think of what Allie Edwards started and created. Um, I really like the Traveler's Notebook format. This wood cover album is um, from Colorcast Designs. This is actually one that I designed that Jessica created and is selling in her shop. Um, I cannot remember if it's still available. I think it is if you want to check it out. Um, but I designed this one and I also designed a wood veneer set um, that goes along with it. This does not have all the wood veneers because I used some of them in the album already. She also has some very cute acrylic pieces. Um, these are just some of the things I use throughout my album. Um, I did not design these acrylic pieces. Jessica designed these. They're really cute. And I also use this stamp set, which is the Naughty or Nice stamp set from Kelly Stamps. Um, Kelly Winnell owns Kelly Stamps. And so this is throughout my album. Um, so I'm just going to kind of flip through and show you the foundation pages that I created and kind of talk while I'm going so the video won't be super long. Um, but you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm actually going to have a giveaway um, of this album and the wood veneer set. So make sure that you stay tuned for that um, to find out how to enter. And so for this album, I used um, the Snow and Coco and the Fa La La collections from Crate Paper. Um, for me, I find that I don't really like to buy a new kit or kind of do the Allie Edwards kit for Christmas because I already have so much Christmas stuff. I kind of feel guilty um, <laughs> buying new stuff. Um, so this is a good way for me to use the stuff I have. Um, so mostly all of the papers and a lot of the embellishments are going to be the Snow and Cocoa and Fa La La collection from Crate Paper. Um, this is just kind of my little cover page and I did a tag um, that has the reason why which I haven't written in yet but I will do that later on. And I was kind of checking out Allie Edwards just to get some ideas from her because I really do love her style. And I think she had a similar, I think it was on her channel, she had a similar little kind of date tag that she created for her days. And I just used that stamp from Kelly Stamps. It has the December here. And also my Shamil roller date stamp to do these. And just everything has black thread. I decided to use black thread instead of white this year. And I did pretty much um, every page is a different day. So page one page two is day one day two um, and I use a lot of different pattern papers um, I like the clean and simple look but it's just not my style I'm more a lot of color and pattern so you're gonna see that throughout the album um, I have a couple of little flip ups I just used um, one of the three by three by four um, pieces of paper um, from the crepe paper cocoa, snow and cocoa collection and cut this and then just scored it to make like a little flip up I can add journaling in my photo here some of the pages are really simple right now, um, just so I can add my photo and journaling later. And then for like each of the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I did kind of a special number. So this is a little bit bigger with one of the specialty papers. And you can see I alternated doing um, some of the numbers at the top and then the next page at the bottom just to have some variation in the album. And I just kind of left these set up so I can go in and add my photos. And I guess I'm going to plan to do a photo every day. Um, I heard someone say, I was just kind of watching videos on YouTube, and they said that they probably wouldn't put a photo that coordinated with its day on that day, but that's kind of like really out of my comfort zone. <laughs> if I take a photo on one certain day, it has to be on that day. Um, that's kind of just strange to me. So I probably will at least have one photo from each day. And I also got, um, I don't have them on hand right now. I thought I had those close by. Let me find them. Um, I have some of the page protectors. Here they are. Um, I did buy some of the page protectors from Allie Edwards um, shop. And these are three by eight. And they have the um, three by four pocket. And you have some full page. And then I think you have, um, I think these others are three by six and three by two. I'm trying to find one of the full page ones. Yeah, you have the full page. So I'm going to use these throughout also if I come across days where I end up having some more photos maybe than I thought I would. Those can be inserted really quickly um, and just filled with photos and some other little pocket cards. Um, I just kind of use tags on this one and you can see I have some of the acrylic piece and wood veneers from Colorcast. 
And so I'm just kind of showing you all of these. This one's just kind of a phrase, um, just a decorative page. And I did have this cute little transparent um, deer pattern paper from Snow and Coco. And I wanted to use that in here and just did the number 10 with some sewing. This one's really simple. It's already set up to add a photo. This was kind of one of my favorite things, the little banner. I just fussy cut these and stitched it and then added it to that page. And I also wanted to show you some of these pages um, are done on white cardstock to begin with. And this is what I use. Um, it's Coordinations Premium Cardstock. And this is in the scrapbook.com store. So I usually like to cut this and I cut these to four um, and a quarter by eight and a quarter because that's what the album cover is. So all my pages are cut to that to fit in the album. And then I just use a single hole punch to punch my holes for the rings. And I'm going to leave links for you in the description box below um, for all the products that I used. Um, a lot of them, the crepe paper stuff you can find in scrapbook.com. I'll leave a link to Jessica's shop. Um, some of the other things that I use, like the stamp from Kelly Stamp. Um, just anything that I used on this album, I will leave a link for you so you can check it out. This is one of my favorite pages. It is this white cardstock that I just showed you. And then I just use stickers from the Snow and Cocoa collection to make kind of my own background. And I just filled all those in and then I used a three by four piece right here um, that will be for my photo and stitched around it. And I really like how that one turned out. It was one of my favorite ones in the album. And that's a great way to get rid of old stickers. Like I've had these stickers for probably two years, I guess. <laughs> and so that was a fun way to use those up. And then here's another one of the specialty numbers. I actually did this page twice. Um, I did not like the first pattern paper that I used. It was too dark. Um, so I went back and did this one again. So I think it actually has like three layers put together right here. So that one's a pretty thick page, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted. So I was able just to like adhere it over the other piece um, and take care of that and get it to the way I wanted. And then some of this, um, these little stickers right here are from Studio Calico. I will leave a link to these also. They were part of their Christmas um, release in November. Um, so I'll leave a link to those. They're just kind of scattered throughout a little bit here and there. And this is another favorite kind of spread right here. Um, these little light bulbs are the wood veneers from Colorcast Designs. And then just another simple little page. I try to keep most of my base pages really simple since I don't really know what photos I'm going to have that day. Um, and then this is another one of the little flip ups here. So I really like those. Those are actually really cute. And then another one where I just have a space for a photo to go in. And I kind of worked on putting this together. I think I sat down maybe like four or five times and I was able to kind of work on like five pages at a time. So um, it was really fast. I liked doing it in the traveler's notebook format. Um, I really like this style since I'm doing this a lot anyway. Um, and so it just really helped me to get it done quickly. Normally it takes me forever because I feel like it's a chore, but I was really excited to get this one put together um, using this cover and just kind of creating my own pages and, and doing it in my style um, with the pattern papers and things that I love. And I did use my cameo for some things. I just kind of set up a little Christmas tree and the other one I, that I showed you earlier, um, I just typed in um, the phrase and then cut that out and I was able to use it and another simple little page here and when I got to the 24th and the 25th I wanted to have a lot more room because I knew I would probably have more photos for those days um, so for this one I kept it pretty easy I wanted both of these pages to be the same across the album um, just for cohesion for this day and I used the Christmas Eve um, acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs here and then just one of the little stickers that are also on that Studio Calico sticker sheet and I'm probably going to have several photos that I'll add here, um, maybe journaling card. This may be where I insert some of the Allie Edwards um, little page protectors. So lots of different options here with the um, Christmas Eve page. And then for the 25th, I did another specialty number for this one. And I used one of the specialty papers that I used before and made this one really big. And I just cut these with um, my Cameo. This font is called Sovereign. And I think I got it at, I want to say the Hungry JPEG. And I used it for all the numbers on the specialty pages. So that's the same font. And here I did go ahead and put in one of the page protectors because I knew that I would have a lot of photos probably from the 25th. 
So I did use one of the, this is the 3x4 page protector here. Um, I went ahead and put a couple of those 3x4 cards in and just kind of layered some stickers and wood veneers over these. And then this will be my other side. So I actually have like a full spread plus the, the page protector card here. Um, and then some of these chipboard pieces, I didn't want them to add too much thickness. So I pulled some of the backing off. This is one from the Fa La La collection from Crate Paper. Um, so I pulled some of the backing off to make that a little more flat. And I have an old um, notebook edge punch and I used that several times throughout the album. So you can see that here that I just used that to create a paper strip. And then for the back of this side, I just added another um, die cut quote that says, Have yourself a very Merry Christmas that I cut on my Cameo. Um, just to add to that back side here since I had that white paper to finish the album. So this was really fun to put together. And like I said, I have the page protectors. So if I run across a day um, where I might need to add more in, I can just open up my album, um, throw that in there and then put in the photos, journaling cards, or just some decorative cards that I need to put in. So that makes it really easy. I like that I have the options to change things up if I need to. And I really love the way that this turned out. It's really my style. I like the Traveler's Notebook format. So I'm glad I got this done and I'm ready for my photos coming up in December. And for the giveaway, since I said that I designed this Traveler's Notebook album cover, Jessica sent me one to give away to um, a lucky winner and I'm actually giving away the album cover and the wood veneer set um, the whole set and cover to one winner you also get the rings that go with the binder and all you have to do is comment below um, in the comment section um, you can tell me what your favorite Christmas tradition is um, whether or not you do a December daily um, you can tell me what is your favorite like holiday food, just whatever, whatever you want to comment. Um, and just leave a comment and you don't have to be a subscriber, but I would love for you to be a subscriber to my channel. I share lots of videos. Um, so I'd love for you to, to subscribe and be able to check those out. And the winner will be announced on Monday. So what I will do is I will just comment um, back on your comment if you are the winner to let you know that you have won this. And once I do that, I'll get your information and get it mailed out to you. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my flip through of my album and that you got some ideas um, maybe for your album this year, whether you're doing a traveler style notebook or a typical regular um, December daily. And I hope to see you for my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.